In this video, I'll tell you all you need to know about adding materials to objects and surfaces in Live Interior 3D. Materials are applied by simply dragging and dropping them onto objects in the 3D view. To begin, let's select the Materials tab of Inspector where there are over 1200 included materials. We'll choose the Fabric category in the drop down menu as we will first change the material of furniture. Find the desired material and drag and drop it onto the object. You also have the option of changing the material of a certain part of the object. We'll change the material of the armrest. Simply find the desired material and drag it onto the armrest. You can also apply materials to a selected object via the Material tab of Inspector. When an object is selected in either the 2D or 3D mode, you see the included materials in the section labeled Objects Materials. Select the material that you want to change. Then simply find the desired material and click on it. This can help you be more precise when changing the material of a certain part of a piece of furniture. The Material Picker can help you match materials. To do this, select the object or surface you wish to match. Then select the dropper in the Materials tab of Inspector and click on the object with the desired material. The material is then applied to the selected object or surface. Materials for surfaces such as walls, floors, ceilings, and wall panels have texture transform options. These options appear in the Materials tab of Inspector when such a surface is selected. You can change texture width and height, offsets, as well as rotate textures. Now we'll do the same with reflected materials on our floor. If the included materials aren't enough for you, you can create your own in the Material Editor. This will be explained in a separate tutorial. That's it for materials. See the next video to learn about the lighting of your project.